CBS 4 News continues now with Lisa Hughes and Josh Binswanger. It's in the air, but for some, finding the perfect partner means passing the pet test. If someone didn't like my animal, I probably wouldn't want to be with them anyhow. So whether you're looking for puppy love or just finding that feline fancy, we'll show you how your pet can lead you to love. Animal Attraction, that's next on CBS 4 News. Well, on this Valentine's Day, many thoughts turn to love and romance, and for many single people, ways to meet that perfect someone. In tonight's special report, Eileen Curran shows us a new way for singles to connect, and it's all about animal attraction. I was determined that somehow they just had to meet. It's not just in the movies that pets can play matchmakers. Oh, oh, oh! I beg oh. your pardon, I'm so sorry. Please excuse me. Oh, Carrie Champagne and Steve Frusetti found each other with the help of their dogs, Bear and Chloe. Good boy. Steve loves animals so much, he runs a pet sitting business. If someone didn't like my animal, I probably wouldn't want to be with them anyhow. And Carrie's devotion to her yellow lab? She's like another human being. Like, I don't, I mean, she's a dog, but they're just so loyal and lovable and... I don't know. Without my dog, I'd probably be miserable. <laughs> so how did these two connect? On a new website called AnimalAttraction.com. It's an online dating service for pet lovers. I think most people would agree that people who own pets or people who love pets tend to be really kind people. AnimalAttraction.com founder Dan Cohen says there are 40 million single pet owners in the United States, and it makes sense to try to bring them together. When you see how someone interacts with an animal, it, it kind of gives you a sense for their true personality. Animals have this, uh, this innate sense of knowing, uh, like a child does, about being able to, to sniff out a real person from an imposter. The shared love of animals also gives singles a natural way to interact. Carrie and Steve started out just walking their dogs on Saturday mornings. The more time I spent with her, the, the more I liked her. <laughs> I realized that we were getting along great and, and that, you know, we could probably bring this a little bit further along. And while it's too soon to tell if this romance will have a storybook ending, their pets certainly have their paws crossed. I'm Eileen Curran, CBS 4 News. And they have a great connection. There are several online dating services that cater to pet lovers. If you'd like some more information, you can log on to our website. It's cbs4boston.com and click on Special Reports.